Hi everyone, so today I wanted to share with you how I do my brows. I recently purchased a new product, the Benefit Cabral, and I have been so incredibly happy with this. I love this product so much, and I have been wanting to try some of their newer brow products. They've definitely repackaged them, and some products that, like the Gimme Brow, that's been out for years. I discovered it last year in September, and I fell in love with that so quickly that I was just like, oh my gosh. So I did a video on that. And kind of in the same way, <laughs> I'm doing a video on this today because this is what I've been doing for my brows since I got it. I have not picked up my pencils or my brow powders or my tinted brow mascara type gel things. I have just been using this. The applicator that comes with it is very functional. It's what I use in today's demo and what I use every time I apply it. I have it in shade 2 and I personally think it works best for my brows as far as matching my hair color and also when I use this without any other makeup just very lightly I feel like I can get by with using shade number two they have six total shades I believe in this range and um, three is what I use in the gimme brow and I thought let's start with that color well when I swatched it in store I think I mentioned this in previous videos that it was a little bit too warm and I thought against my brows it might be a little too kind of I don't want to say orangey but a little bit more on the warmer side so I went with two which is a little lighter than I expected and I think it works definitely shade four five and six are way too dark and it just wouldn't look right against my very light um, you know skin tone and obviously having darker features I kind of wanted to keep everything very balanced and just very natural and very soft so that's why I want two and I love this. I'm going to show you exactly how I use this for my brows and what I do step by step. So if you want to see how I do my brows, then keep watching. All right, so the first thing that I usually do before my brows is comb them through with a spoolie. This is just an old spoolie. It's part of a BH Cosmetics brush set that I've had for quite some time. And I just take that through the brows. You could also use a brow tool like this. This is from Real Techniques if you wanted something a little different. And the star of the show today is the Benefit Cabral. I love this stuff and that's why I'm doing a video because I'm just so thrilled with how this makes my brows look and how easy it applies. So if you're not familiar with it, this is basically like a cream gel style product and you twist the cap off and you have the little pot that has the color in it and I have it in shade number two. And the actual cap is functional because you take the top part off and it becomes the brush. Now it does look a little crazy because I, um, I like to kind of clean it before putting it back in there so that there's no goop on it the next time I use it. So I like to take a little bit of the product and I usually do this after my makeup but I haven't done my eyeshadow or foundation so excuse the face. <laughs> Uh, so what I like to do is take a little bit of the product and I just start by applying it pretty much in this area here. Hopefully with this camera at an, um, or sitting at an angle you guys can see it a little bit better. And then what I like to do is start working towards the arch of the brow and the end of the brow like so. And I pick up a little bit more and this stuff is so incredibly pigmented that you don't really need a whole lot. And I like to kind of tilt my head where I'm kind of like tilting my head a little bit so I can get right up in this area here and right here where I actually have a spot where hair doesn't grow. Unfortunately, not much I can do about that. <laughs> and then at this point, I haven't done this inner part here and there should be not much left on it at this point. And I'm just going to do feather-like strokes just to kind of create this um, shape. I like to have it a little bit more squared. Sometimes I'll round off the um, this part here so it's more rounded, but I don't like to have a ton of product gooped in this front part of my brow. So just kind of go flicking upwards. Very thin, very, very light-handed as well. I'm not applying a lot of pressure. I'm going to take a little bit more and go around this side here in the very edge and I have it in shade 2 which I think is a good match because shade 3 is much more warm and then obviously four shades 4 and up all the way through 6 are just way too dark so then I like to again comb it through one more time make sure everything is nice and even and you can see a huge difference from this brow that's done and this 
that's not the side and you can see it's just much more lifted it's just so much better <laughs> than this eye which this little brow here is a little bit wonky I've got some sparseness um, from over plucking waxing over the years and that's just it's not gonna grow back so that's the before and here is the after and then of course brow gel is the next step I always use the Anastasia one that's just my favorite but I'm gonna do this after I do my eyeshadow. So that is how I do my brows. As I said before in the beginning of the video, I just love this little magical goodness here. I love the packaging. I think it's really adorable and you can sit it out on your vanity. And it's just really cute and I love the packaging standpoint from the Benefit brand anyways. But the product itself is really, really good and I love it. I highly recommend that you check it out if you're in the market for a gel cream type of brow product. It's very similar to the Anastasia Brow Pomades, which I've tried those before and really like that as well. So I do like this style of product for brows because it's actually very quick to apply and it doesn't take a lot because it's so pigmented so a little bit goes a long way. It holds, it stays in place, it doesn't get all kind of crazy looking throughout the day. If I go outside and it's raining, I don't have to worry about any of this slipping and sliding anywhere. So I love 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 this product and I can't highly recommend this enough so I hope that you guys found this tutorial helpful if you have any additional questions please let me know and everything will be listed for you in the description box as always and you can also tune in to my life off camera on social media Twitter snapchat Instagram you know the whole jazz all that stuff will be listed down below as always and I will see you there take care bye bye